Hey guys, welcome back to Hebrew 1. Today we're going over the seventh letter of the Hebrew alphabet called Zion. But I should probably note that sometimes people will pronounce it as Zion. And never ever write Zion by itself. Unless you're doing teaching purposes, the reason for this is because it actually means a very inappropriate word. So, that's interesting. Um, the reason why I know this is because one of my Hebrew friends taught me the wrong way, I guess. This is the only way I can clarify. But anyway, let's get back to the video. So, Zion looks like a Vav, but a special Vav. Which is this. Whoops, sorry. Time is failing. There we go! It it's just has this little thing at the very top. Just a straight line, and it has this little thing on top. And Zion makes a Z sound. But there is a weird exception to it. So remember a little bit ago when we went over Gmail, and how Gmail, as we remember, had just a normal Gmail, but it can also sometimes have this little dash that changes the sound to a J sound. Now, Zion also, for whatever reason, has this, and it makes the same exact sound. So, this is what it looks like when it has it, and this is very rare. Now, Zion, in general, is a very rare letter, and you won't see it often. But this, having the little thing, it's even more rare. I think I've only seen this maybe three times. And as I said, it makes a J sound, just like how when it has this, just like the Gmail with the special thing, makes a J sound. Just to clarify a little bit, we're going to write a um, certain word. So this is the word for jacket. I'm kind of butchering the um, handwriting here, but you'll get it. We don't know these two letters, but we'll go over them in the future, so don't worry. But the point is, this makes jackets, you know, with the sign and special thing. But you can also, but you can also write it with a gmail. And it makes it the same exact sound. Jaquettes, jaquettes. You just are simply changing the letter. But like I said, same exact pronunciation. And whenever you see this letter, you can normally change it to a zine and you'll be pretty much fine, like 90% of the time. Some words you just can't do it for some reason. But it's just kind of a fun fact about Hebrew, I guess. So that's pretty much all we're gonna go over um, today about zine. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and see y'all!